so today we're going to talk about dreams and all the amazing things that dreams can offer us the symbolism the clarity that dreams can offer us i also want to point out april 4th there will be strong strong pisces placements specifically with neptune neptune will be in the placement of pisces this will be a time that is great for working with the dream world if you are not familiar with the dream realm and knowing how to maneuver this is a good time to do so especially if you're in a situation a challenge and they're sending you messages they're sending you downloads via the dream realm this video is going to be very helpful i love dreams because they come from darkness they come from an aspect of mystery the deep unknown and spirits and beyond spirits. So there's so many instances where we take a look back into the ancient world and we see that women would go into the wild. They would go and dance and do these different rituals and ceremonies geared towards dreams. They give us a lot more than we think. They give us a deep symbolism. They give us deep wisdom, connection. Some of us are praying for things, answers, prosperity. Some of us, there's so many ways that dreams can allow us this layer of clarity with ourselves in and out. So as I said before, there were rituals that the ancients would do. Our ancestors, our great ancestors would do certain rituals and certain ceremonies centered around the dream world. And I want to tell you that you can actually do this to this day. There are certain crystals that you can work with. If you're somebody like me that loves a good crystal, okay? Amethyst. I was always drawn to amethyst. I didn't know, other than my favorite color being purple, why I was so drawn to amethyst and the energy centered around amethyst but now i truly understand that this is a great dream work crystal this crystal is not only going to give you the spiritual awareness when you're inside of the spiritual realm and the dream realm but it's also going to give you ancient wisdom it's going to give you powers that'll guide you towards ancient wisdom Another really, really good thing that I love about amethyst is that it's a great dream recall crystal. That is so important because on this journey of dreams and just working in the dream realm, you really need a way to better recall your dreams. So me personally, I like to keep a dream journal. If you are a person like me that likes to write everything down, that likes to rethink, retake your step back into the dream in a sense, I like to set space aside to feel again what I went through in a dream. And it just, it's very helpful when you have an amethyst. Um, there's also selenite. So if you're not familiar with amethyst, there's also selenite that you can use. Selenite is a high vibration crystal that can really help you to increase your spiritual power and increase your energy for working with the dream realm so if you feel like your energy is kind of low maybe you are prone to negative energy selenite is a great crystal that is helpful for when it comes to dream work and we'll do one more really really great crystal that being a peach moonstone the energy of a peach moonstone is very calming it's a pretty pink color it's great for attracting it's also known for fertility but it is a lot of research that has been done within the spiritual aspect of calming yourself when it comes to the dream realm so that's also a really great crystal if you want to check that out so what would you do with your crystals when it comes to dream realm work there is many things. I get a lot of questions about people asking what to do with the crystals. There's many things. You can meditate before you go to bed with your crystal. Like I personally like to meditate with my selenite um, or my amethyst. It really doesn't matter. You can also, like I personally sell necklaces. And if you're a person that likes jewelry, you can actually just wear your jewelry to bed, right? So beesitandgems.com, if you ain't know, now you know. We have a beautiful selection of crystal jewelry that you can actually wear to sleep. So you don't have to worry about it tumbling out of your bra or moving around in your pillows. You can actually just wear it like a necklace to sleep. You also have the layer of working with a dream work altar. I personally have done this for a short amount of time, but I've always been someone who have had very strong, powerful dreams. 
I am a Pisces rising, so my dreams just hit hella hard all the time. But when I started to work with a dream altar, that is when my dreams became very prophetic, where I would be having messages, not just for myself, but for the collective. So I definitely would, if you already have an ancestral altar set up, definitely look into setting up a dream work altar because it is going to strengthen your dreams. It is going to make your dreams so potent that that shit feels like a fucking video game or a movie or a TV show or some shit. But anyway, like I was saying earlier, when it comes to dream work, you definitely want to put yourself at ease before taking your rest. Because when it comes to the energy, when you want to enter the dream, realm you need to be in an energy that is safe that is secure um but this is where you know the aspect of nightmares can come up right so there are certain times when our energy is not the best maybe we're having a weird situation challenges going on that will shift our dreams and make these dark and mysterious symbolism and this, my friends, is where we talk about the dreamer's path, right? So if you haven't noticed, we do. I be saying we like it's we. But just me. Just me by myself. Anywho, Beans and Gems is now releasing a new service. I have been doing general readings for the last almost two years. And I wanted to open space for a new type of reading service. So this reading service is actually going to be geared towards dream interpretation. So if you're someone who is experiencing not even just nightmares, but just weird, interesting dreams, maybe you don't know what spirit is trying to say, what exactly is happening, what the symbolism is giving, I am holding space for you. I am someone who also used to have really, really hard time with knowing what my dream was saying, knowing exactly what spirit was trying to get me to understand. But I started to notice that essentially dreams are a big, fancy, fancy way, a very scary way for some of us <laughs> to symbolically represent our spiritual lessons, our challenges, and they show us exactly what we need to learn, what we need to heal, what we need to overcome so that we can grow spiritually. They may be past lives, they may be future possibilities, parallel worlds, or simply spiritual realms. Maybe we, it's so many things that dreams can be. And I feel like dreams have always wowed me the fuck out. I just wanted to open space and show people that there are deep messages, deep wisdom that we can work with, that we can receive. There is so much spiritual in the dream world if you are listening right now under the sound of my voice and you are not utilizing the powers of your dreams and the powers of dream work definitely look into this means of communication because it is quite literally exactly that anything that you're wanting you're asking for guess what you can do you can ask for a message a sign a symbol in the dream realm before you go to sleep before you meditate you can create these rituals throughout the day that is going to prep and prime you for when you go to sleep when you hit that realm state so being that april 4th we're going to have so many strong pisces placements like i said before this is just an amazing time to work with the dream realm knowing how to honor your emotions in the format of a dream and it can really unlock some deep shit like my dreams have been able to really just help me so much whether it be with clarity healing evolving growing and honestly just downloads for like content sometimes i'll be having random dreams profit and message that i need to put into my content right so there's so many ways that we are praying that we are asking being on the prayer list right but god be showing us in our dreams and maybe we don't know how to interpret it maybe we're confused a little lost in the sauce right so this is going to be my space opening up for those who want to dive deeper in the dream realm so i hope to see you on the dreamer's path and if not that's okay continue to do all the amazing things that you've been doing continue to grow and know that you are bomb as the fuck and you're magical
because sometimes I feel like there's this layer of us that doesn't fully digest the fact that we are computers. We're manifesting computers that can input and output whatever you're seeking. So if you're wanting something, input it. Wait, be patient, and know and understand that the output is going to come. It's going to come into fruition. It takes a layer of belief and just knowing Having that ritual work where you're going to that altar, speaking into that water consistently, having the layer of consistency. It also takes a layer of self-discipline. So let me know down below if you all are interested more in dream work as well as the dreamer's path. Comment down below if anything resonated with today's video. And as always, do not forget to hit the subscribe button, honey, if you haven't already. I will see y'all next time. Much love, peace, and blessings.